fresh and funky. Mm, I'm feeling kind of fit. I'm feeling kind of fresh. Let's get into it, ya. Yeah. I don't know much about this, these guys. I don't really watch a lot of their, I've seen clips. I mean, you've probably heard of these people from their clips. Or if you're a supporter of them, I'd suggest you click away because this is not gonna be praise. These guys are a uh, garbo, uh, but they're funny. Like, not like intentionally funny. They're just funny to, to look at. Saving children, right? That was great, but saving you guys is better. And to hear what they have to say about stuff. So let's watch three clips of this guy named Myron who's half of the fresh and fit. I don't know if he's the fresh or if he's the fit one. Uh, I'm guessing he's the fit one. He looks, because the other one's like a fatty. But let's see what one of these videos. This one video is called Myron Gaines destroys Molina after calling man delusional. Gaines, so he's probably the fit one. I mean, you got 100 plus men telling you here that they prefer women to have yeah, lower body counts. Yeah, all of them are delusional. This is the quintessential example of what I mean when I say Female standards are respected and supposed to be adhered to, whereas male standards are considered delusional. Let me ask you a question. Would you say that in general, most women prefer a man taller than themselves? Um, yeah, that's true. Would it be fair to say that in general, women prefer a man that makes more money than them? Um, yes, I general. guess some, yeah. In general. Would it be fair to say that women want a guy that is more confident and ambitious than themselves? Yeah, those mm. things, yes. Okay, what if I said that women are delusional for these inherent standards? I don't think it's delusional to have those standards. Oh, stop the show right go. there. I don't think it's delusional that they want women to have low body counts. Yeah, but right. why? Hold what on, is stop the, the reason? show. Stop the the show. reason. The reason. <laughs> <laughs> One guy, yeah! Okay, in terms of what you said, you're not wrong about how people don't have any respect for male standards. And personally, when it comes to the female body, and yes, yeah, a lot of women's standards are held to a higher higher degree or had more respect towards them, even though they shouldn't, because fuck everyone, right? Everyone's wrong. Screw the stuff that you like. And especially when you look at the, the things that a lot of women like, it's, it's, it's garbage. Superficial, mindless nonsense. But in terms of the body count stuff, I feel like the problem that a lot of people have with that, at least a lot of dudes who have a preference of low body count, comes from what that tends to denote. It usually tends to denote promiscuity and the woman gets around is a fucking whore but i mean i personally don't have an issue with that i mean i have completely different and more abstract ideas towards relationships and standards i think everyone gets it wrong everyone's a bunch of mindless animals and they all make up crap based on shit that other people told them i wouldn't have a problem with with a woman with a high body count and a lot of people too who do have a problem with that usually don't like it because of what it could potentially entail like the women just gets around, she's easy to get with, which fine. I don't, I don't care. I personally wouldn't really, don't really, well, would, I wouldn't really find myself in a relationship, at least at this point in my life, nor do I think that that's something I would see in the future. I don't really believe in relationships or committed monogamy and, or polyamory. It's all just, I just, you know, get with people and that's what that is. But I would see it kind of as a better thing if you disregard the, you know, the, the not, adhering to the traditional standards of monogamy as a result of the uh, high body count because it tends to reflect a woman's uh, non-committal habits. But let's just say you have a woman that has plenty of body, high body count, she's willing to commit to you. It's like, isn't, shouldn't that be the thing that you should care more about? If this person's garbo, whether they do or don't have a high gar body count or whether or not they're willing to commit to that relationship really wouldn't pertain to their body count, you'd think it really would pertain to them as an individual and how they can conduct themselves in regards to that established setup. I would prefer a woman with a, with a, like a, with some experience, right? Because, like, sex? Wouldn't that just be, like, boring? But if you have to teach the, the woman everything and you're the guy that's just leading all the time? I can't even say leading. I mean, it really depends on your preference. I, I prefer to lead, but, like, wouldn't you want to have... Say if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you're the game master or the, the guy who does everything. What if you're like, as a, as a dungeon master, having to tell the player specifically how they do everything? All right, this means that, this means that, you got to do this. That's not fun for you as the dungeon master. 
They should at least have some experience on how to react to the stuff you're putting out accordingly. Instead of you having to tailor everything, that would kind of suck the fun out of it. I mean, you're probably not wrong when it comes to men's preference, a low body count. But it's like, again, it's not solely the body count that people use to judge, at least dudes. It's usually what that entails. So, that's that. You're not wrong. Women's standards are held to a considerably higher standard. And, um, or a considerably higher degree of uh, respect from people. And it's funny how he points out the hypocrisy and she gets, like, offended immediately. He's like, fuck, this woman sucks. She, she cucked some guy. Some guy who openly allowed himself to get cucked. I think this is Melina, Destiny's ex-wife. I'm not okay with it. Ew, you licked it. <laughs> don't, just don't get with shitty people. Who, who are weak, who have no integrity, who are spineless, who aren't able to do the things they say they do. Screw them. All right, next video. Sorry. This one's called Myron just demolishes girl in a date. All right, clearly all these videos are very biased, but let's see what happens. So, what, what would you do if I was going on holiday every other month? Like, you'd be single. Really? Are right. we going together? Or are you going by yourself? Sometimes. Oh no, you'd be single. What would you do if I couldn't cook? You'd be single. Can you cook? That's irrelevant. No, can you cook though? I mean, can you fight? Let's exactly, let's ask pointless questions. How is that a pointless question? Because, I'm trying to get to know you. Because that's your job. What's my job? To make sandwiches. Did he actually just say, my job is to make sandwiches? How am I gonna fight off the intruders if you don't make sandwiches? I need sustenance. You're a dick. Oh my Sorry. God, both these people are fucking stupid. Gender standards all the fucking way, oh my God. So you're gonna have everyone saying wrong shit if the two people who are speaking and we're listening to are fucking stupid. I want you to do this. Why don't you expect me to do this? No, I don't want you to do this. But you can't expect me to do this. It's like, why not? How about both of you just be capable individuals instead of being a bunch of dumbasses? As a female, you should know how to cook. As a male, you should know how to fight. Why, why not both of you know how to cook and fight? There, solved. Perfect. Now you're both capable instead of having to rely on each other based on your gender standards. Oh, wow. A girl can't go on a uh, go on vacation by themselves. Why? I mean, can you? You'd probably say yes to that. Why not? Do you trust each other? Then, if you don't, why are you together all, all together in the first place? Well, it makes sense why, right? Because most people they don't define these things. They just do stuff based on their feelings, and that's why like almost every relationship fails for the overwhelming most part. But. All of this can be nullified if you just were both capable. I can cook. I can fight. Am I, am I a female and a male? On, on the inside? What, what, what does that mean? Like, Jesus, dude. Anyways. Yeah. You're both wrong. And I, I've seen some of this girl in this, 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 these videos. Yeah, she, she's, she's pretty stupid. But she brings on a lot of people who, who also say stupid shit, such as this guy. That was dumb, man. Just be a capable individual. Stop expecting people based on their gender standards. Just like know how to do things. Be well-rounded in every, every facet of life. <laughs> Holy shit. One more video. This one's called Why Women Deserve Less Explained. Myron Gaines. All right, yeah. You can see the deterioration of the quality of, of takes. Let's see what Why he has to say. Why do women deserve less? Well, we, we live in a world nowadays where chivalry is punished. And I've always said, you know, Dave Chappelle famously said chivalry is dead and women killed it. And the thing is, is that women have to earn chivalry nowadays versus just expecting it because women are not equal to men and chivalry in itself practices inequality. So what I tell guys is I'm not telling you to treat women poorly or treat them like subhuman or something like that. What I am saying is that in the romantic pursuit of women, it needs to be reciprocal. That's the problem right. is that yeah. a lot of guys go into a relationship, deal with a woman, and there's not reciprocated value. They're the one per ones pursuing. They're the ones right. investing, and the girl isn't investing. It needs to be where she's investing. If anything, I argue women need to invest more, more in the man than you invest the other way. Right. Yeah. But that's why I wrote the book, because so many guys don't understand this concept that you can't date like it's 1951 anymore. You need to date like it's 2023. All right. So whatever that was, women deserve less than men. I guess through a traditional monogamous committed standard, I... Uh, if you're going to hold yourself to that idea, which, why would you? Why would you want to get with somebody who just serves an individual purpose based on their biological association? Like, it just sucks the, like, the substance out of everything. 
knowing that you're a what, not a who. I thought relationships were about connection and depth. They should be, they're not. And when you get shit like this, it makes sense. And the dumb women on the other side, they're just like, yeah, I agree with that, yeah. Yes. Okay. Do you do that? Like, I do, and even if you did do that, would that really amount to a successful relationship? I've seen all, it all, baby. I've seen it all. People who do do this, they fail. People who don't do this, they fail. People who do it in between, they fail. Shouldn't it be a little bit more substantial instead of just you serving a purpose? It should, but it's not because humans aren't good enough for that, clearly. Look at this guy. He has a... He has a... A lot of influence in, the, in, in his spheres, I guess. Talking to discount Ben Affleck on valuetainment. <laughs> this one I don't have as much of a hearty opinion on because it's sort of just like, all right, I guess serve your purpose, play your role in life based on your gender, do stuff that's expected of you instead of just doing what you want. I mean, I guess you can't really do what you want if you're playing into these defined established idea of, of, of ideas of what you're supposed to do in context to a relationship but yeah I this one I don't really even know what to say <laughs> it's like all right um the last clip was pretty funny that was that was good but I also like how people like to conduct themselves as if they know what they're doing as if they feel like they know what they should do but even when they do those things it fails so it's kind, of, it's kind of just like, okay, what good was those standards of you adhering to? What, what, what purpose did those serve if you, if you failed? Yeah. My advice? Don't take my advice. Who gives give a shit? If you actually do want some random out-of-the-box out opinion, do stuff based on what you want to do. Don't expect mindless crap from other people. Don't expect mindless crap from yourself, especially that. But define your life based on the, well, the things that you want. And find people who are willing to accommodate that. There you go. Don't do shit just because you're expected to. Don't expect stuff from other people just because, you know, it's expected of them. And by it is expected of them by, like, the social zeitgeist, the, the ideas that are defined in a certain time and place. Fuck the 1950s. Fuck the 2020s. Fuck it all. Fuck all humans. <laughs> just do what you can to succeed. <clears throat> there you go.